Good. Well, thank you guys. Perfect. Uh, we know your name, but just spell and pronounce in your position title for us. Okay. James Harris, J-A-M-E-S-H-A-R-R-I-S, Chief with the Detroit Fire Department. So what happened here? Oh, we got a call at approximately 8.30 this evening uh, about a possible plane crash in the 12,000 block of Dutchess. Upon arrival, the Detroit Fire Department discovered there was a plane crash. There were two people in the plane. Uh, I don't like to use the word luck, but no one got injured, no one got hurt, uh, no chemical spill. It was just one of those fortunate situations. And what happened that caused the plane to come out, you know? Right now, we're in our preliminary stages of our investigation. Uh, we don't know what caused the crash. Uh, but we're just thankful no one got hurt, especially no civilians that time of the day. Uh, it's near a park, it's near a school. It could have been a lot worse. And so, yeah. were, oh, go ahead. I was say, were they trying to land, like you mentioned the park, were they trying to land in the park or anything like that, you know? Uh, like I said, right now, we're in our preliminary stages of investigation. Uh, we don't want to compromise that investigation, but we're just very thankful, very fortunate. Did you all find anything uh, perhaps concerning inside of that aircraft? Uh, right now, uh, like I said, we're in our preliminary stages of our investigation. Uh, we don't know that right now. Kind of describe the area where the plane went down. Is it houses that are really close to each other? Did they kind of slide it in a, a tight nook there? That's correct. It's a nice residential neighborhood, uh, families, single family dwellings. There's a park uh, within feet away, uh, a school within probably 200 feet away. So everybody was very fortunate. Kids out playing, it could have been a lot worse. Did he clip any power lines or hit any power lines or anything like that? I heard talk of that. Is that no power lines? No power lines at all. Where so, was so they were able to walk out of this crash? Yes. Two people on board? Yes. Do Incredible. You have, uh, do you have any ages or, or who they are or anything like that? Right now, we're still investigating. We'll have some more facts at a later time. Gotcha. And then what, uh, it was a backyard that this happened in? It wasn't a park, right? It was a backyard? It was a backyard in between two garages. So did it hit like the garages or trees or anything like that? Or no. A couple tree branches, a couple tree limbs. That's it. And no, I mean, no fire, no nothing. Like, I mean, nothing. Uh, how what about the damage to the actual aircraft itself? Uh, Wing gone. Gone. It's 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 a little bit of damage. I don't know if it's total, but there is damage. How are you going to get it out? Uh, it's probably going to need a crane, a tow truck, a large tow truck. But like I said, no damage to the home, uh, no individuals injured. The people on the plane were okay. So this is just one of those things that kind of worked out for the better. So FAA and NTSB are going to investigate, I assume, from here. Affirmative. On? Yes. And then you guys are going to be here for a while, waiting for a crane and everything to get it out. I assume. That's correct. Yes. Chief, do you know where the pilot was from, where he was flying to, flying from? Uh, not right now. Like I said, we're still investigating, trying to get all our facts and put them together. And I assume so you said you'd be out here probably, do you know how long into the night or, I mean, how long it might take? Uh, you know DFD <laughs> until the job's done. Um, I think there's something else I was going to ask. Um, this is pretty much it. Oh, do you have any photos of the, that you might be able to share with us at all or any from the backyard? Not right now. Okay. Yes. Thanks, Chief. Uh, yep. Okay. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank Thanks. you.